Hey everyone, it's Sarah here, and I've had a lot of readers ask me about making slime without glue. So I have this neat little recipe that I thought I would share with you live today, and it is a slime recipe without glue, but it is not a borax-free slime recipe without glue. So although there is no glue, we still need a slime activator that uh, contains uh, some of the boron family elements, either um, boric acid, sodium borate, or the borax powder. Uh, and we are using a special ingredient that helps to form this really cool jiggly slime. It makes some great jiggly slime sounds. Um, you can see that my hands do not get messy from it. And it comes together really easily. And it has this really fun, crazy, almost ghostbustery like slime appeal. Um, just very jiggly is the word I can use to describe it. It is not going to be the same um, texture as our glue slimes. It's not going to be the same consistency. It feels a little bit wetter, but it's not sticky. You can see that nothing I do, it really sticks to my hands, but you're not going to get like maximum stretch out of this. You're not going to make those giant slime bubbles. But if you're looking for a really awesome alternative to actually making slime, um, this is pretty neat, and our secret ingredient that we're going to use today, throw this back in here, is uh, guar gum. It is a natural thickener, and we're going to combine that with water and our slime activators to make slime. So we're going to start by adding one cup of warm water to our bowl, and then we're going to take half a teaspoon of our guar gum. And we're going to sprinkle that over the surface. So, and then we're going to thoroughly mix it in. This is going to take a little bit of extra time. You want to make sure that you don't have too much of the uh, lumpies and bumpies left over, but the warm water helps that out. So, you're going to have a nice, evenly mixed mixture of guar gum and warm water and to that we can add food coloring just as we would our regular slime recipe and since we already have this cool green I'm going to make a neon blue and these are just the food colorings from the grocery store nothing fancy and do three good drops should be fine Get that closer to you so you can see it and just gonna mix that all up that is blue. It's neon blue. All right, now to this, we want to form our slime, so we're going to do a combination of baking soda and saline solution. I'm going to start with my baking soda, and this will add some firmness to our slime. Incorporate that. Okay, now for our saline solution. I do not like to use contact solution. I prefer to use saline solution. This is my favorite. It's from Target. Saline solution for sensitive eyes. And if you look on the back, you're going to notice that uh, boric acid and sodium borate are two of the ingredients that need to be in your saline solution in order for it to work when you make slime. And that's the same for our traditional slimes too. You can also use plate brand, that seems to work well. And there's a couple others. Uh, so you have to see what's in your area. And I'm gonna use a tablespoon of that saline solution and a little saline solution. Sure we have enough in there, I spilled it earlier. Toss that in, grab your spoon. And you'll see that right away, your slime starts to come together. It gets thicker and thicker, and you can see it pull away from the sides of the bowl and, and no longer looks like a soupy mixture. So just keep going until you feel like you've got a good slime going. You can see it's all nice and jiggly. It looks like I probably didn't stir it as well as I should have, as I see some little white clumps in there, but that's fine. It's all about playing with. All right, so really, you can see that this mixture moves around in there quite nicely, and although it looks very fluid and liquidy, it is quite firm. And there it is. 
there is your uh, slime without glue using war gum. And it, it's pretty stretchy. I think that's pretty cool. Here a little bit. There you go. But, so that's me. Oh, don't look at my dirty dishes. Let me stand. Oh, okay, stand in the way of them so I don't know which way to go. Those are my dirty dishes back there. So we're just keeping it real in the kitchen, making some slime. So this is some neat slime. So if you want to try this, this slime without glue, this is pretty cool. The kids are going to love it. Love it. Look, it's still not sticky. I just picked it up right out of the bowl. Usually slimes require some kneading and you get a little bit of glue on your hands. Um, but this one does not, although it does feel moist. So you can feel the moisture from it. But this is a pretty cool consistency. Look at that. Very jiggly. Very crazy. Kids are going to love it. Again, don't uh, throw it on the carpet. I, I would still wouldn't stick it in your hair or um, play with it on your bed. But this is um, a pretty awesome slime without it. So pick it up. Uh, you need guar gum, baking soda, and saline solution along with your warm water and a little bit of food coloring. That's it. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know and I will respond to them. Otherwise, uh, we'll be back soon making more fun. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.